The Viking program was a systematic effort to investigate the planet Mars. Two separately launched Viking spacecraft, made up of a pair of orbiters that would photograph from above the planet, and twin landers built to descend to the Martian surface, spent 11 months and 420 million miles traveling to the mysterious red planet. The lander's robot arm conducted chemical and biological tests on the soil in a search for life forms. Martian weather and seismic reports were also sent back routinely. Cameras began returning pictures, thousands of pictures. Color photographs showed a surface littered with rocks. A fine dust, red or yellow brown, could be seen everywhere. We even had a chance to view the two moons of Mars, Phobos and Deimos. Vikings' complex science and technology were considered to be a triumph equal to the landings on the moon. Two unmanned Voyager spacecraft carried a record with the sights and sounds of Earth, just in case they encounter a cosmic neighbor along the way. Their interplanetary journey was designed to take them past Jupiter and Saturn, and eventually one Voyager was to pass close to Uranus and Neptune. Voyager sensors recorded Jupiter's intricate weather patterns and detected massive lightning bolts in its churning cloud tops. It took 40 minutes for a signal from Voyager passing Jupiter to be received by mission controllers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, so the spacecraft had to be essentially automatic. Voyager also took a good look at Jupiter's largest moons. There's Io with its active volcanoes. Europa. Ganymede, the largest moon, appears to be a mixture of rock and ice. And Callisto, probably the oldest of the four. Voyager's next assignment was to fly by Saturn and its moons. Saturn's vast ring system is made up of many small particles that orbit the huge planet in wave-like patterns. Its atmosphere is buffeted by a strong jet stream that blows eastward at 1,200 miles per hour. Voyager detected the hottest gases ever observed in the solar system up to a billion degrees Fahrenheit. As of now, two-thirds of the planets in our solar system have been explored, and by the end of this decade, we will have explored most of the rest including Uranus and Neptune. Through the years, the single most constant in NASA has been, is now, and continues to be, its aeronautical research. It is a common thread that is woven throughout the agency. It has influenced everything that flies, both on Earth and in space. There is little doubt why this country has been the world leader in things aeronautical. Here are some of the goals of the program. Make aircraft more energy efficient. Fly higher, faster, and farther on less fuel. Lower pollution. Systematic improvement of engine components. Reduce weight through use of light but very strong composite materials. Study problems associated with wake vortices, tornado-like patterns of air that trail off behind jet aircraft, causing problems for smaller planes following closely in their wake. Airplanes are America's leading industrial export, thanks to NASA's research and development programs. Since there are some 200,000 general aviation aircraft in this country, NASA research is also improving this class of airplanes. Crashworthiness and stall spin studies are good examples.
problem of potentially crippling ice formation is also being worked on. The heart of this research is a unique refrigerated test tunnel capable of simulating the icing conditions an aircraft is likely to encounter. Once a test has been run, newly developed computer codes are used to evaluate the results. During the early days of manned spaceflight, consideration was given to using a parawing to return astronauts and spacecraft to Earth. While this method was ultimately discarded, it did produce a rather interesting new sport. There's been extensive work done on planes that take off and land vertically. very short runways. Hybrids that are combinations of airplane and helicopter and oblique wing craft that reduce air drag by pivoting the wing at various angles to the plane's fuselage. The expertise used to make airplane propellers better has also been applied to powerful wind turbine electric generators, including some of the largest in the world. NASA's aeronautical research was the seed from which the space program would grow. A prime example of this was the lifting body project that began in the early 60s. The combination of wind tunnel tests and actual flights led to the design of the reusable space shuttle.